Jesse. I'm here with John Damon, and we're from DeWitt's Radiator. Uh, we're here today to talk about some of the frequently asked questions uh, that we receive. Now that it's springtime and uh, people have some extra time on their hands lately, whether they're stuck at home or in their garage getting ready to uh, look at the car, we don't want you to forget about your coolant system. You know, it seems like everyone um, comes up to their coolant system when that's time, you know, it's too late. You know, it's already 80, 90 plus degrees outside and the car's overheating. So now it's a good time to, you know, take a look at it, do some maintenance, maybe uh, flush it out, different stuff. So we want to go over a few topics and uh, hopefully it helps answer some questions. Sounds silly, but one of the frequent questions that we get is uh, turning the drain and it's not closing. Uh, I just filled it up full of uh, antifreeze, and now I have antifreeze all over the floor of my garage. Uh, your, your drain's broke. All too common, we find that that's not the case. And granted, it sounds counterintuitive, but the drain, uh, whenever you're turning it, actually comes outward of the drain cock. So it's standard threads uh, in the sense that turn it clockwise, it's going to close it. Counterclockwise is going to open it. Yeah, I mean, they are, they are kind of fragile, especially an older one. Whether, whether it's a new drain, sometimes they're just, um, the little wing nut on them is just a spline. So it's, it's barely attached with the spline. So if it is a car that's, you know, um, drain hasn't been open in a good couple of years, you know, you haven't flushed it out in a few years, it could uh, very well crack off on you in that instance. So it's not a bad idea to maybe uh, put a little WD-40 or something on there that will help loosen that up. But yeah, you're right. It's it's um, it's still a right to tight, left to loosen, or right to close it off and left to open. But it's kind of it's different because the threads are actually coming out towards you. So the actual drain seal from the inside in a pulling motion. So so it's, it's a little different. Definitely where to start. Drain the system. It's a good idea to drain it and then uh, flush it. Uh, a lot of people will call and want to know what we recommend for for a system flush. Uh, aside from a good distilled water after you drain the system, there there are some store bought options out there. Um, just use your best discretion in selecting the, the correct store bought uh, flush. And also keep in mind, anytime you flush a system, even though the the drain is no longer dripping with antifreeze, you're still going to have some some coolant trapped in the water the water jacket on the block itself. Uh, so whatever you use to flush the system, it also needs to be uh, uh, good to leave in the system as well because you will have, will have some residual uh, coolant left in the system even after you flush it. Um, yeah, so a lot of the store bots, um, we get asked that question, store bot, what kind of what kind of flush should I use? And, you know, or even putting a new radiator in there, trying to test it out, you know, for the first time, making sure the engine you know, all the leaks, you don't necessarily want to use all your coolant. I recommend just getting some distilled water. Get a few gallons of distilled water. Fill your system with that the first time. Um, it's important to start it up and get your engine running too. So make sure the, the thermostat's opening up and there's actually water flowing through everything. So get it good and hot with the distilled water. Um, after that, just uh, drain it out. Whatever residuals left in the system, you should be good to go. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit us at DeWitts.com.